uh, on the phone. Laura, hello. Good morning, Laura. Hiya, what's the problem? Um, it's coming up to um, my... Uh, I had a stall birth last year, and it's coming up to her anniversary ne uh, next week, and I'm just finding it hard to deal with. Oh, oh Laura, what that's a just awful, you poor thing. A dreadful anniversary. Mm. You carry that baby close to your heart for a long time, and that's something that you will never lose. She is part of your life, but there's a wonderful organisation called the Lullaby Trust that I think can help you a lot. Um, they, they understand exactly what you're going through. We'll put you in touch, and they will help you, but in a way, it's something, this will sound strange, I'm using the word celebrate. The fact that you know her, that she was part of your life, that she will be part of your life forever, that's something that don't run away from next week, is what I'm trying to say. Well, there are other, there are other issues as well that make this so much more painful, aren't there? Uh, you say that um, your brother and his girlfriend are expecting, yeah, and so... Yeah, just find out that they're expecting as well, and uh, I can't even congratulate him yet. Yeah. And, you're still dealing and with you're finding your that things. it's having a, um, an effect on your relationship, because yeah. all your partner wants to do is love you and you're, and you're pushing, pushing him, him away. away. Oh, well, remember, he lost a child too, and if he wants to love you and console you, and that will console him as well, if you push him away, that's a double hurt for him. You have to think about his feelings. For too long, we never thought about men in a situation of stillbirth or miscarriage. We, we never considered their feelings, and we know now that they hurt too. I really think the Lullaby Trust could help you. Yes, yeah, I've, it... I've been in contact with Sam. Um, mm. I'm thinking of um, seeing them as well. I think it would be a really, really good idea. Do you talk about it with your partner? Uh, yeah, we do, yeah. We, we do, do talk about, about it a lot. But um, I think it's because it's coming up to her anniversary. It's painful. It's a lot harder. Yeah. This I, is... I can't cope with it, I don't think. This is also something that you are no stranger to because you've had 13 miscarriages and two stillbirths. Is that right? Yeah. So you definitely need to talk to someone. Um, people, people who maybe have, have gone through a, a similar thing um, or, or at least will, will understand and be able to offer the right advice. Absolutely. You have to express all that sorrow and anger that's inside you at what happened. But yeah, don't... Yeah, guilt as well. Oh, you shouldn't feel guilty. No, <laughs> no, no why guilt. Not? You've got nothing why to feel guilty guilt? about. Um, just the fact that um, he hasn't got any children and, you know, it, I'm not going to be able to do it again, so he's not going to be able to have any. Yeah. But he wants you. You just told us he wants to love you. And yeah. it, instead of feeling guilt about what you can't do for him, do what you can do mm. for him, which is love him, which is say you matter. Whether you're going to be the father of a child or not, you matter to me. And, and you can give him that and it, think of his sadness and think that on that day, that baby you made, which nobody can take away from you, it existed and you will always think about it and love it. But you and he should be together on that day and consoling one another. Will you do that? Yes, yeah, I will. Thank you. Stay right. strong, Laura. Look Laura, after yourself. Will you stay stay on the line now, and uh, and our lovely phone in ladies will just have a word and make sure that you're pointed in absolutely yeah. the right direction. Okay. Thanks very much. Oh, Lots okay. of love, Laura. Okay. Lots of love.